everybody, it's Connie Stewart with simplysimplestamping.com. I'm so glad you guys could stop by because we have got another One Sheet Wonder project for you. Hey, Christmas cards. We are gonna create three Christmas cards today featuring the Feels Like Frost Specialty Designer Series paper. Have you guys seen this paper? Oh my gosh, you need to go check it out. It's on page 42 of the holiday catalog. Gorgeous. Every sheet is metallic silver, stunning, but it's the other side. It's the, all the sheets in this are so gorgeous. You're gonna wanna check it out. Well, today we're gonna create three simple cards using the 12 Christmas stamp set. Very, very simple. You're gonna be able to create some cards in a hurry and we love that we're gonna use up all that designer series paper. So let's get started. All right, let's go over the card stock you need to create today's Feels Like Frost One Sheet Wonder. I have three whisper white thick card bases. They're all cut the same size, and that is cut five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter inches. I have three pieces of Knight of Navy cardstock. Two of them are the same size. This is one and a half by five and a half. And then I have another piece of Knight of Navy, four inches by five and a quarter. We're also going to use some vellum on our cards. This is gonna just tie into that beautiful softness. I have a piece of our vellum cardstock, two inches by 11 inches. A little tiny scrap, just a, a little scrap of Whisper White, one and a half by two and a quarter, uh, but any size scrap will do as long as we get at least that measurement. And the star of the show is the Feels Like Frost Specialty Designer Series paper. Boy, I hope you can see all that gorgeous silver metallic on here. Beautiful. Remember, it is double-sided, and it is beautifully double-sided. I'm telling you, it just about breaks my heart to have to cover up uh, some of the, you know, to choose which side to work on. Guys, the cards I'm going to create today, you're going to be able to do it with several different designs here. I mean, most of them, honestly. It's going to work great. I'm going to be using the Twall Christmas Bundle today. Guys, this is a fabulous one. Love this cardinal. Can't even begin to tell you how much I love this cardinal. And you can see we have some really great dies here. Today, we're actually only going to be using the two label dies. But let me tell you, you're gonna love this stamp set and the dies because you can see the cardinal, this branch, these little swirls, these leaves, you're gonna be able to use this one all year long. After the holidays, this one does not need to be put away. This is gonna be a beautiful uh, set for you to use in the future. I've got one more set of dies we are going to use today. This is the nested stitch dies. We're gonna be using several of these. I'll give you those measurements in a minute. So this is the designer series paper I used on my first set, but I thought, you know what, let's shake things up. Let's bring in another one. We've got this great snowflake and again, these gorgeous blues. So we're gonna mix it up today. Now, where we cut our designer series paper does make a difference. You can see here with my original, my focal image is here off to the side. So that of course made it very easy to know where to cut. For this designer series paper here, I've got a lot of options, but let's go ahead and start by cutting this piece down to three and seven eighths. Now, we're going to rotate it, and you can see I can either cut from here or here. I think I'm actually gonna cut from the top, and I wanna cut this down to five and an eighth. So there is my focal image for my main card. Now I have this piece left over. I'm going to cut it down to five and a half inches. Now we need to simply cut this piece in half. And your remaining piece here is two and an eighth inch. So you know what? We're gonna go just that little tiny hairline past one. Uh, that would be the one and one sixteenth. There we go. So we'll cut that in half. They're the pieces that I need for my cards. All right, let's do some stamping. First things first, let's stamp on our cards. Okay, we're gonna bring in a Knight of Navy ink pad. And guys, you are gonna love how easy the stamping is. Let's take that wonderful branch. I've just inked that up in the Knight of Navy. And we're gonna stamp that. I want that branch to be straight. So I'm gonna come here at an angle. I'm stamping that there on the right side. Perfect, let me bring in another card base and we're going to ink up our cardinal. Now we're not going to get the entire tail, so I just wanna make sure my bird's sitting straight. Stamp that right there. Isn't he beautiful? Right down there in the bottom right corner. 
On my little scrap of Whisper White, let's just stamp for you with love. This stamp set does have a really great sentiment. May this season be filled with the beautiful moments and happy memories for you and those you hold most dear. Guys, we are going to stamp this sentiment inside all three cards. All right, so that takes care of all of my Knight of Navy stamping. All right, now we're gonna do some embossing. I've got my embossing buddy and I'm gonna rub that all over that large piece of Knight of Navy card stock. I've got my Versamark ink pad and we will start with May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. Let me rotate this around. I am gonna be using this piece again, so I wanna make sure I'm giving myself room all around. Now for Christmas wishes, right there. I'm going to sprinkle that with my silver embossing powder. Guys, this is gonna be so pretty up against that gorgeous, uh, designer paper and that silver that's already in there. All right, that looks good. Let's bring in our heat tool and now we will heat set our images. Oh, can you see it? It's so pretty, I cannot wait. All right, we're gonna come in now with the matching dies and we can take these over to our die cutting machine. Let's die cut our sentiments. All right, there are the sentiments. Now, we're gonna get a little bit more out of this piece of cardstock because we need to cut out one of these right here. Uh, the measurement for this die is about one and a half by two and a half. That's from point to point and side to side. I'm just going to lay this on here. Let's go ahead and die cut our little uh, label here. We're going to take another one of the uh, stitch nested labels and you can see which one we need to choose, the one that's gonna hold that sentiment. Let me die cut that. But if you need that measurement, it was a, uh, the one and a quarter by two and an eighth inch die. That would be the outside perimeter. All right, from our vellum, we're going to use the next uh, stitched die. This one measures, it's about a hair over three inches by one and a half inches. We are going to die cut three of those. All right, it is time to put our cards together. So let's start with our largest card. You know, we need to hide all of that ick. And so we're just gonna cover that with our designer paper. And I have to tell you, putting adhesive on this gorgeous silver is just killing me. Why did Stampin' Up! have to make both sides so pretty? Uh, it's just unfair. All right, let's go ahead and adhere that down. You notice it's gonna be a really tight fit, but I really like that narrow mat. All right, we can now add this to the front of our card. Make sure you're paying attention to your sentiment inside. Hey, I'm gonna give you a trick before I do this. So if you ever stamp crooked, and honestly, this is just a little bit crooked. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. <laughs> We're gonna turn this over and I get a second shot at that sentiment. Ha <laughs> ha, am I tricky or what? No one will ever know. Okay, there, that's better. Don't tell. Don't tell anyone, okay? All right, so now we're going to take um, our big, beautiful, may your days be merry and bright. I'm going to use dimensionals on the back of this sentiment. And you know what, while I'm at it, I am also going to add dimensionals to the other embossed um, die cut as well. So I'll go ahead and get those on there. And I'm sorry, I was wrong. This one is the Christmas Wishes, so I needed the smaller one. I realized that's covering up a little too much. But guys, this just goes to show you. Pick your favorites, it's all good. Oh, look at that, isn't that gonna be pretty? We're gonna take our vellum, and I want to place some snail adhesive right down the center. That's important, because I don't want my adhesive to show. My sentiment is going to go right across that, so let's take off the backings. And we'll add that right there. All right, card one done. We're gonna do a little more to this here in a minute, but that's our first card. All right, card number two. We are going to take that one of the pieces of the Knight of Navy, and we are just gonna simply tear. I love the look of a torn edge. It's so beautiful. And what I want to do is add my designer series paper right over that torn edge. You decide how much of it you want to show. We're going to adhere that right here. Um, but yeah, we just want a little bit of that to peek out. So let's add the torn cardstock. Now we'll add that beautiful 
silvery designer series paper, and that can go right there. All right, another one of our pieces of vellum, but this time we want our snail to go across the short way, right like that. You'll add that to your card. Now we're gonna add this fabulous image right across it. Isn't it so pretty? All right, card number two, let's create our last one. For this one, we are simply going to add our designer series paper right down the middle. But listen, if you like the torn edge, you can do the torn edge again there as well. This one, um, I'm going to give myself just, just a little border right here. Let's add that to our card. For our last card, I am going to put the snail right down the center. We're going to add that here to the front of our card. Our little die cut, let's add some snail down the center of that one. Center it up in the vellum. I've added dimensionals to my sentiment. Dimensionals just make everything better and we'll add our sentiment right there. Three really simple cards. Now, I did tell you I'm gonna share with you a little tip if you wanna step it up a notch. Did you guys notice the shimmery crystal effects that's in the Holiday 2019 catalog? Let me show you what I did to create a nice little shimmer effect. You're simply just going to squeeze the bottle and just drop that shimmer onto the card. Now, let me tell you what crystal effects are going to do. It's going to kind of leave a nice little raised gloss area. And I hope you can see it there in the camera. I can tell you it's gorgeous in person, but it really adds a nice touch. And of course, it's got some shimmer to it. Let me show you on this card. I simply kept the nose of the bottle flat and just kind of drew some lines on. And again, it just kind of gives it a real icy feel. I think it's a nice little step up, but I wanted you to see your cards can be left just clean, simple, and beautiful too. So there you go, my other take on the card with one of the other sheets of the designer series paper. I'm telling you, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this paper stack. But boy, it hurt to have to put that adhesive on that beautiful metallic side, but you know what? This image was just too gorgeous not to utilize. Hey, listen, I want you to learn more about the cards. Maybe you need to see the photographs so that you can remember exactly where to adhere or those measurements. You want to know which dies I use, things like that. If you'll head over to simplysimplestamping.com, look for the November 16th, 2019 blog post. That's where I'll have the photos and all the information that you need. And if you're ready to order that feels like frost designer series paper, or perhaps it's time to get the uh, 12 Christmas bundle, just click a pick. You're going to see the complete supply list right there. Click it. It'll take you right to my online store and you can order what you need. Guys, I would be so thrilled to be your demonstrator. So be sure to place your order over at simplysimplestamping.com. I hope that you were inspired by the cards today. If you were, would you mind giving me a thumbs up on YouTube? I always appreciate that. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that great big red subscribe button up there in the corner and YouTube will let you know whenever I'm back with a new video. That's all for me, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. I look forward to stamping with you again soon. Bye-bye.